Hey everyone, it's Marty from Down the Rabbit Hole Travel. I just learned about a new bizarre travel trend that came about as a result of the pandemic, and I want to share it here with you. They're called Flights to Nowhere, and they are just as loopy as they sound. Stay tuned. Okay, so it is baby steps into 2021, and we are all still banned from traveling, at least here in Alberta. When I say banned, I mean travel is highly discouraged due to pleas from our government, COVID-19 testing protocols, two-week quarantine times if you do travel out of country, and the fact that travel shaming has become a very real thing. Unless you're a member of the Alberta government, you probably haven't flown anywhere on vacation for a long time now. Which is why I was fascinated to hear of this new travel trend called Flights to Nowhere. Apparently, there is a large group of people out there that miss travel so badly and have the money to burn that they're willing to go through with the entire travel airport experience without actually ever going anywhere. The plane flies up, the plane flies around for a little bit, and the plane lands back down in the exact same airport it started from. People are happy. This whole flight to nowhere stuff originally started in Taiwan, from what I can gather. The first flight to nowhere didn't even have a flight portion originally. Passengers just paid good money for a nightmare trapped on the tarmac experience, as I would call it. Except in this case, the flight attendants actually pay attention to you and bring you food and drink. Part of this first flight to nowhere included having to go check in, print off actual boarding passes, go through security, and stow your baggage. You know, all the stressful stuff about going to the airport without any actual vacation. At least food and drink was provided, as well as a little in-flight entertainment. So it wasn't just sitting on the tarmac, bored and stressed. And then afterwards, everyone just deplaned, I guess, and drove home. This whole experience cost people about $183, according to what I read. After a bit of this flight to nowhere on the tarmac stuff, Taiwan started actually taking planes up into the air, doing three hour flights, mostly over little islands and along the coastline. And as I said, meals were much better than normal airline fare. Instead of heated plastic trays of rubberized chicken, guests got sashimi on a bed of sushi rice or braised beef with noodles. Not too shabby. Since Taiwan's innovation, other airlines around the world have jumped on the bandwagon. Australia's Qantas airline takes passengers on a seven hour flight in a giant loop all around the island continent. Singapore and Japan also feature similar experiences. Upon landing, you should probably still hand sanitize and continue social distancing, but quarantining is not necessary after these flights. I'm not really sure where I stand on this new trend, Environmentally, people argue that it is a waste, but because of COVID-19, so many flight paths have been either reduced or completely stopped, we are currently putting less emissions into the environment right now. So maybe a few flights to nowhere couldn't hurt. And I do absolutely love the thrill of takeoff, almost as equally as I hate the stress and uncertainty of touchdown. So that evens itself out. Ultimately, I just can't shake that feeling that as much as I miss travel, I could do better to save my money for something more worthwhile with an actual destination when the time comes. Flight days are my least favorite day of travel. So without an adventure awaiting me at the next different terminal, I don't think this travel trend is quite right for me. What do you guys think? Would you pay for a flight to nowhere? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like it, leave a comment, and share it out on your social media. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please consider clicking the red subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified whenever I put out a new video. Happy New Year everyone!